almost any industry, you can look in there and find the one that is just completely leading. And it's what is it that they're doing differently? Why is it? And, and often we just justify oh, all well, their business model or this or that. It's intentional choices about what they're going to do and intentional choices of what they're not going to do. sure that we're extending care to all types of community and every single pet in this country deserves care every single pet in the world deserves care and our reach is in, in the united states so it's really about how do we make sure that every pet that needs care can get care and we're, we're developing that much more personalized service at um, at banfield just because you're in a tailwind category doesn't mean you're going to have success and you really have to analyze where the success is coming from and are you are you really industry leading? And that's been our benchmark was great. There's 11 million adoptions that are happening. That may be worth X for us, but how are we truly the industry leader? And how is our organic growth growing faster than, than our competition? And so what I'm proud about is not the human, I love the human animal bond, not, not that there's a tailwind. It was our team did the work to say, what more can we do? And how do we truly become an industry leader? And I would like to think that no matter the industry, I mean, some industries have obviously had it very, very tough. And I want to be very um, understanding of what people are going through. Regardless of what you're going through, it's about remaining connected to your employees or associates and listening at scale, engaging in two-way dialogue, what's working, what's not working, what do you need, and, and investing in that authentically open relationship where you can listen and learn and doing the same thing for the consumer. And, and I think often we say, whether it's our, the consumers, our boss, or our associates are our you know, most valued asset, it's one thing to have the rhetoric. It's another thing to actually back it up. And, and I think the, the leaders and companies that you know, I, I most admire or that I've been able to talk with that, I've, that I see have really won over the last year, really did that. They talked with their people. They provided that level of comfort that we're in this together. We're going to figure this out. What do you need? And here's what we're going to do. Give you the tools and resources to do your best work. And also here's what the consumer wants and, or here's where the consumer is going and here's how we're going to shift. And when you're able to do that, you're able to provide confidence. When you can provide confidence to your, your employees or your associates, they're going to, the, the, that just helps with discretionary effort. It helps with teamwork, team dynamic. And that's at the end of the day where all the work's happening is on the front lines with the client, with each other. And the same thing for the consumer. We're seeing that with the cultural demographic shift that's happening in this country, you're more and more people are asking those questions. What is it the brand is doing and what are they standing for? And, and how are you showing up? So engaging with the consumer and leading by example is incredibly important. And that just ties back to that intersection of, of pet health and societal well-being that we're focused on. I want Banfield to truly be a beacon for how a company ought to behave and making sure that we are, we are leading from the front saying, this is a big issue. Let's all take a stand. Here's what we're doing. Essentially, what are you doing? Help join, join us in this, in this movement because companies have, I believe companies have the responsibility to show up powerfully, uh, not just for your employees and associates and your, and your consumers, but that's the responsibility that I think business ought to have in society. You should bring your authentic person to work. And when you're able to bring your authentic self to work, that's powerful. And too many companies have this, have this separation of well, at work, you ought to do this. We expect this. And at home, you can do whatever. No, I want you to be your authentic selves at home and at work. And when you can do, bring that to the workplace, it's going to make everyone better.